Dr. Jerome Fryer of Dynamic Disc Designs. I wanted to share with my current customers those other docs that are using the model and if they have patients that experience symptomatic back pain first thing in the morning. The model is designed to create a dynamic disc, of course, right? And we know that the there's diurnal variation associated with the intervertebral discs and the rate of height change is significant very often with regards to instability. So there are times in the day and night cycle where this is more unstable, less stiffness. And if you look in biorheology, you can see here is the 24 hour graph and there is a change, a rate of height change. The graph indicates millimeters in height over a 24 hour period. And you can see in the beginning of the graph, when someone lies down, the rate of increased height gains and uptake, of course, we know that you know, this is primarily by imbibition, water intake, happens pretty quickly. Also, happens quickly in compression as well. So upon first rising, the disc is quite hydrated and in the first, it happens in the first 10 minutes, there is increased mobility. So there is this kind of more of a slipperiness, slip, slipperiness? I don't even know if that's a word, but there's relative increased shearing, micro shearing that occurs or can occur first thing in the morning. So I often get patients to uh, not create these exaggerated or abnormal postures and flexion and lateral flexion when they go to put their socks on or that sort of thing. Give it some time to settle, right? So the disc height will actually come down and now you've got more stability after about 10 to 15 minutes. So the model can be helpful in helping patients understand the stability of the whole joint complex and how you want to minimize the approximation of the facet joints in the first 15 minutes. So use the model to help demonstrate stability concepts to help them prevent acute episodes.